Hi everyone, welcome back to Greenlands. Um testing the map tonight. I did a little bit more the other night I did um, cut this field and stuff. Put on my headphones, that would be better. So I think I need to get the turner on. Uh, what track am I going to use? <laughs> Maybe the fence. I just spent like half an hour fixing some um bugs with the map so yeah the map's coming along well now it's just gotta keep testing it to take three mowers to off so that's good. So I don't know if it goes straight to hay or whether you have to wait. I haven't done hay yet in MFS 22, so I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, how long it takes until it becomes hay or whether it is already hay. I'm guessing it should it should be like lighter colour than this for hay. Hey Jill, welcome along, how you doing? Hey Luke, welcome along, happy birthday, hope you've had a good day. What have you been up to on your birthday, Luke? Yeah, it's coming along really good now, Joe. Just basically testing now and finding bugs and fixing them. Uh, I think my webcam is frozen. I just noticed that. Oh, okay, cool. That's nice, Luke. Yeah, why's my webcam frozen? That is weird. What is up with it? Okay, I think it's back. Hey, Dirk and Ruth, welcome along. Thanks. Yeah, it's getting close now. Hopefully it won't take so long. Okay, cool, Luke. Yeah, it was good, thanks. Uh, lots of eating sweets. <laughs> I got lots of chocolates and sweets for Christmas. So yeah, that's nice.
It's actually, it seems a bit wider than three mowers. Hmm. Yeah. Two goes. Yeah, no worries. You don't have to be here on your birthday, it's fine. You know, I've been good, been working all day. Yard work and spreading dirty water and yeah. Washing off the mower. Nothing very exciting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's been wet here too. Well, some of the time it was dry, but uh, a lot of the time, it, yeah, it was re heavy rain and yeah, just yuck. Absolutely yuck. Look, do you know if it, if this is like hay now or if I have to wait longer or something? Because yeah, I haven't never done hay in FS22 yet, so I was just wondering if you knew. Or if anyone else knows, let me know. I might actually look in the game helping in a minute just to check. Okay, Jill, no worries. I need to get those bows in. I have a lot to do. More fields to cut. Yeah, I know I have to break it a windrow it, but then it'd be hay, will it then already? Because I don't know if it's just going to be like... I'm guessing it's hay, but yeah, I don't know now the, how the game is, if you have to wait or something. I thought I'd better do some hay bells. If I get uh, like animals, I'm gonna buy some animals, I guess, because I have money. Okay, thanks, that's good. Well, I'll probably bow it later. I'll just like let it dry a little bit more, even though it won't make no difference. Okay. I didn't know if they'd have changed, it made it more realistic or something. Because actually you should have to wait like several days, like three or four days for it to become a hay, really. It should now, if you build it now realistically, it would only still be like silage. 
Okay, cool. Um, I, I, they definitely improved the animations in FS22. That's what I've noticed. Like, you, you see how the grass, like, spreads out. It's a lot better. I think like going back to like FS13 it wasn't didn't even have anything like that that was even like flying out so they've definitely improved it a lot which is good uh, yeah uh, I'm not sure how realistic this is <laughs> The grass just turns light green straight away, which is weird. You should have to wait like a day for that to happen. The game just crashed. You mean playing on my map? You mean there's a lot of bugs on my map, is that what you're saying? Or do you mean there's a lot of bugs with the game? Okay, that's done. I think this shed's actually too a bit high. I think I could lower this shed down a bit. It only really needs to be as high as like the turn or whatever. Shut that off. Let's get in this one. I think there's two fields to cut. Ah, uh, that's weird. I think that's... It sounds like it's something to do with the update or something then to the game. I know a lot... Uh, I don't know if you've heard, but Lancy Boy has had a lot of problems. He lost, like, a lot of work due to, like, installing the latest update for the game or something. So there's definitely issues. Oh, I missed a load of grass there. Yeah, I not I don't quite understand why he lost everything because um basically his file shouldn't have been nothing to do with the game. But yeah, I'm not sure. He'd have thought he would have backed it up. But obviously he didn't, which is bad. I always try to back everything up. I have three hard drives in my PC, so I can back up to each of them, so if something went wrong, I basically should be pretty safe.
This field's bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah, me too. I back everything up and then, yeah, every so often I save a copy on another hard drive so that if anything goes wrong, I shouldn't lose everything unless my computer blows up or something. I've got an SSD that with my main, like, with my main windows and everything gone, and then I just got two hard drives that I can back up to. Oh, what am I doing? I'm gonna use my phone and drive, not a good idea is it? Yeah, you can never be too safe. It only takes like a few seconds to back up, but it takes hours to get it back if you don't back up, so it's worth the little bit of time it takes. Eight viewers, welcome along guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Like and follow me on Facebook. What is that? That looks like a bit of different grass. Yeah, there's a little patch. Yeah. I've lost hours of work before. <laughs> And sometimes it's because I don't save it and then the editor crashes or something, which is annoying.
Hey, Sandy. How you doing? Uh, that sounds weird. I think it might be something to do with your... If it's on the mod hub, then it should work. I think it might be if you don't have the latest game version or something. That could be why why it's not showing up. Because my brother, um, he bought the game on um, piece on, uh, what do you call it? Like CD, DVD, and when he, um, yeah, without him updating the game just how it was no mods or anything would show up so it's probably something to do you haven't updated the game or something but there's a lot of bugs going on at the minute different people's had different issues Yeah, he plays on PC. I think he's playing on the map. He was going to play on the map now. Yeah, on, my, on this map. Yeah, I'm the oldest. <laughs> Everyone's younger than me. I see, you've been playing on this map. I don't know, Cynic. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about being the wisest. Okay, cool. Have fun making maps. What do you mean you won't say too much? <laughs> you always say a lot. Oh, thanks. Well, it's not the finished product yet, but I'm glad you enjoy it. Um, well, basically just testing it now. And fixing all the small issues that I find. The map is pretty much there. It's basically, it seems to be pretty much playable. But yeah, just, that's basically what I'm doing now. I'm playing on it just so that I can find any issues with it that I need to fix. Um, there is a few things I need to do. Like uh, make the navigation meshes for the animal husbandry bigger so that the animals um, walk around the hoe with the um, pen but apart from that yeah 
there. There might be a few textures and stuff that I need to change. Yeah, yeah, I've sorted that. You can get into the sawmill now. Well, I think you have. I don't know exactly that I've tried it, but I'm sure you can now. I found that um, it was a, like a collision thing for the edge of the map. It's right across there, so I removed that and I put in the collisions all the way around the map now, so... Um, yeah, it's getting there. I've fixed... I think... Wow, there's a few issues, I think. Um, John was saying that some of the trees aren't cuttable. I need to look at that. Apart from that, in this patch of grass that I seen a minute ago that wasn't right. Um, I don't know that there's any other issues. Turn off. Let's cut this for you. Oh, and I need to get rid of this. Um, Brick piers. Oh, yeah, I need to check the cattle goods. Thing is, I don't go. I haven't been out the farm really yet where I've been playing. But Luke, you have this version of the, the map, I believe. Or, well, maybe not exactly. But you basically have one that's close to this. I think the cattle grid should be in the version that you have. That right, yeah. What you've been doing with real life farming, like... Okay, cool, thanks. I went on I something I did earlier that John told me about um I needed to do was put in um paintable um bushes and stuff so in grass I've done that because that was missing and I've also um added in buyable trees so you can now buy trees and place down which you couldn't do before. So I got that fixed. And when I was doing that, I went in, I think it's Elm, it's Elm Creek, I think, believe. The American map, and uh, yeah, I didn't really take a good look around, but I think that was probably the first time I went in that um, map. And yeah, I've, I kind of got a few ideas. Like maybe I could like adapt that map and make it into a British map. Uh, I've lost your comment, Luke. <laughs> uh, I've just meant you're busy with your farming because you don't get much time. Uh, oh yeah, I am kind of busy. 
We're not as busy as in the summer. Yeah, I need to put your name on the supermarket. Keep forgetting. Uh, hey Robert, welcome along. Ah, uh, no, it's not. It's not a flat map. <laughs> it's very. Some parts is hilly, but there is parts that are fields that are steep. The fields here are quite flatty, but um, some of the fields are like quite quite steep, really. I've tried to make it realistic to you. farmers around where I live. When does it come out? Hopefully in January, I'd say probably middle to end of January, but it just depends how long giants take to test it and how many times they send it back to me. It might, it might be February, it just depends how long it takes. And I think, yeah, they're going to have, like, they're going to be snowed under with mods to test. It just depends. I'd hope January. But obviously the the better job I do of testing it, um, the quicker it should pass, hopefully. But, like, there's several people testing it. Uh, there's like five of us now, I think, maybe six of us testing the map, so I'm going to try and get it sorted. Thanks. Hey Danny, welcome along. I'm doing good, thanks. How about you? I wonder how many cuts of grass is possible in a year. I think I see notice that you can harvest grass all year round, which is weird. Oh, thanks. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Christmas was good. Um, just I I got a lot of chocolates and sweets. <laughs> Probably enough to keep me going for about a month. <laughs> I did get some pajamas as well and some money, so that was nice. Oh yeah, nothing very exciting. Okay, grass takes two months to grow. That's interesting. Um, well, I'd say, well, it should, well, the farmer I work for usually has about five cuts of grass and yeah, we reckon the cut about every five weeks, so that's only just over a month. So, but obviously we we put on a lot of slurry and fertilizer to make it grow quick. Okay, Luke, no worries. Catch up with you again soon. Enjoy your food and your birthday. And uh, see you again soon. I'm going to put this tractor on the fire wagon.
distracted. Go on the blade. First, we have to rake up. This little room, Why did I put that John Deere there? Yeah, let's, let's rake up the. We rake up this first, and we rake up the hay last. Let's see if that works. I'd like to buy this field here. Next. And it's close to the farm. I don't know that I've ever actually done anything in that field. In FS19. I don't think I ever did anything in that field. Which is weird since it's so close to the farm. Is it it's B? Is it a bit? It's B, I believe. In there. I think I did do it the other day. I got rid of all the weird crops like um, cotton and sunflowers and stuff like that. Remove them so you won't find them growing in any fields now. You only find like wheat, barley, rape, oats, um, potatoes, sugar beet, I believe. Nothing weird. <laughs> so I, I don't. I've never seen cotton in the UK. Or well, maybe sunflowers. You can still grow sunflowers if you wish to. You just won't, they will just won't be in any fields on the map as a crop growing. Dealing with a bigger rake. This field is too big. It, it didn't feel like I'm going 10 miles an hour. Hey Paul, welcome along. Um, I don't, I think you must be new here. I don't remember seeing you before, so yeah, welcome to the channel. 
If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, what do I think of FS22 so far? Um, yeah, I, I like the game. Um, there's, there's some nice improvements. But, um, since Giants had an extra year to work on the game, I don't... Well, I'm a little bit disappointed, let's say, in, um... It's not, like, they haven't made, like, big improvements like I would have hoped, considering they had an extra year. But, yeah, that's just me. <laughs> this, uh, the, the graphics is definitely better. The textures are nice. Uh, um, some of the animations are better. Small things are better, so, but yeah, it'd be nice to see a diggable terrain and more realistic plow and stuff like that, would have been nice. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's quite expensive, really. Um, and there's, there isn't so much difference from 19 really if you with all the mods and everything installed in 19 you wouldn't see that much difference really and then the mod see the modder seasons in 19 is a better um, seasons and the in-game seasons of FS22. I love how you doing. Hey Rage, how you doing? Welcome along. The map's coming on good, thanks. Basically back to just testing and fixing bugs. Uh, I don't know if they will. Uh, the main reason I think, I believe, I might be wrong, but... The main reason I think they went to three years for this one was um, because of the consoles, I believe. The new consoles were coming out. And... Yeah. I think they needed to, like, wait or something. My camera's frozen again. Why is it doing that? Why is it... Freezing. I don't know why it's freezing. Thanks, Rage. I appreciate it. Ten viewers. Don't forget to subscribe and like and follow my Facebook page and stuff. Ah, I hate it. It don't lift up quick enough for me. I like it just like fly up and fly down. Uh, it looks like I need to pause, but it, that doesn't have.
I'd hire a worker, but I think they'd only make a mess of it. It's better for me to do it myself. The favourite all time map. Um, I don't know. Um, I liked Spring Hill Farm, but that was like back in FS13. <laughs> um, oh, um, I like Bitter Down Farm in FS13 as well. Um, I also liked um oh, I forgot what it's called now. It was in FS seventeen by Bill at Bill. Got the name of it now. Hey Green Tea, how you doing? Welcome along. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, I don't know why the link isn't working. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, uh, I guess I've played on Metal Grove at some point, but I can't remember playing on it for a while now. I'll try and get your working link in a minute. Okay, let's try and open up Discord. Uh, now, how do I? How do I? Set the link to never expire. Okay, hopefully that link works, guys. Let me know if it works. Okay, cool. Thanks for joining Discord. Maybe I shouldn't have made this field as big. <laughs> I wonder how much it's, it's how much it's gonna fill the silage pit.
Yes, um, there will be green tea. Um, I'll be converting my um, new park farm and new brook maps, and I'm going to be making a brand new map as well for FS22, which uh, may or may not be like kind of took from the Elm Creek map um, obviously it won't be nothing the same I will like change the map up so much that you won't be able to recognize it but like make it very British and stuff is the map coming to console yes it is Danny well, that's Giants permitting, but I will do my very best to make it come to console. All my maps in FS19 made it to console, so I can't see why it's not going to make it to console in FS22. Yeah, it's a it's a really nice small map for um it was it was um originally I made it for FS thirteen. Back then maps tended to be a lot smaller. <laughs> there wasn't so many like feel full um size maps back then, people just seemed to keep them small. <laughs> I see green tea, that's cool. Yeah, um, it is complicated, but um, the more practice you get and by just messing around and you watch videos on YouTube and stuff, even ones for FS19, a lot of the stuff is the same. I don't know, if, have you heard of um, Shy Wizard? If you search him up on YouTube, he made some good videos in FS19 using the editor, which a lot of that stuff still applies now. Yeah, yeah, that's a... Yeah, I don't know. Why don't we have many two-wheel drive tractors? To be honest, I can't remember the last time I actually used a two-wheel drive tractor in the game. I can't. I can't even think of one. <laughs> uh, I remember. I know there was one all back in FS09. I used to use. Was it like a six Ford six six ten or seven six ten or something? But yeah, like, I don't know when, oh, I guess I, it was like the Ford, um, 4,000, 5,000, 7,000 pack, maybe some of them were two-wheel drive. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'd like to make some more videos on using the editor and stuff to help people out. But yeah, I'm still... Thing is, I'm still kind of figuring stuff out myself at the minute, so... Um, it's a bit hard. <laughs> but yeah, I've been trying to live stream. I've live streamed most of this, like, converting this map over. People seem to like watching it. I don't know why. It seems pretty boring to me. But... 
I get more people watch that than when I'm actually playing the game like now. <laughs> Okay, no worries, green tea. Have a good evening, or yeah, don't know where you're to, but yeah, have a good day. And thanks for stopping by. Nice to see some new people tonight. One more field to rake after this. Oh, this is taking forever. Oh, even if you pause, it's still... That's pulling that swathy. wonder if there's a way to make it... Make a modded version that would lift up and lower quicker. Okay, thanks, Danny. So we're going to rate that hay now. Then we need to get bathing in and picking up before the end of the day. Also try and get those bowels picked up. So much to do. Oh, I thought there was a gate there. There isn't. There isn't. No, I'll just go all the way round. In this mini a track and uh,
There's only like eight bells in that field. That's oak straw. going to be doing in September there won't be much to do <laughs> Maybe I'll buy some more fields if I can afford it. I don't have something to do. If I can... I don't know if you can harvest anything in September or not. I guess you can do grass. straight and then break that bit that way I guess Yeah, it might definitely lower down that shed, that first shed nearest me. A bit high, it looks a bit weird. It looks bad enough as it is really, because I had to scale it nigh over, and then all the posts are so close. Makes it look weird.
getting that. Why oh I mean that was just a bit of grass I missed to worry about. And maybe what I do I bow this first and then I can do the silage. much better than build these this sort of shape or just any funny sort of shape than just dead square fields can't stand that the base game maps are so weird <laughs> no hedges around the fields Hey, yay, we finally finished raking. Do something different now. Let's just drive it in here for now. That will do. Um, let's use this tractor actually for bailing. I think um, if I make a new map, it's definitely the farmyard is going to be more tighter and more compact. There won't be so much space <laughs> because none of the farms where I work, you have big areas like that. It's all very crammed up. <laughs> only enough. Not even enough space to turn round. I hope this is high.
Not choose grass. It looks like a grass bell to me. Uh, where is the fucking game help? Grass. After grass is cut, use the tether to turn the cut grass around so it can dry properly. To Hey, looks slightly brighter and less saturated than cut grass. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I hope it's hey. <laughs> It's, it just looks too too green to be hay to me. Hay would be lighter color than that. I have my doubts as to whether this is actually hay. Come on, don't roll away. Hey Damien, how you doing? Welcome along. Um, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'll get you a link. There's a link for you. Um, I try and update the other link sometime if I remember. You're welcome. 
Thanks for saying. Yeah, this track is definitely better on the baler than that fan. You can feel that he's got a bit more power. Um, well, not really, um, I've just made a few alterations to the in-game ones for this map. Um, I've just enlarged the pens a bit and sort of changed it around a bit and added in a few gates to them just for this map, really. Um... I may possibly put back in the ones that were in um, the FS19 version of the map at some point. Because um, I like the look at those better, they're more British than these are, so I may do that in the future. And I plan on um, converting over my um, animal placeables from FS19 to FS22. I'm hoping to start working on that this week if I get time. And then you can place those in any map you want to.
Yeah, a lot to do. Convert all the maps over. Convert the animal placeables. Make a new map. <laughs> Never ending. But yeah, this is definitely gonna. This was definitely the gonna the map that was gonna take the longest to convert because the others aren't as big, so shouldn't take as long especially new brook it's only a small map so shouldn't take very long at all don't roll away don't roll away you are gonna keep rolling aren't you beast of a bell Come on, they still. Got back to short a rose now. Mm -hmm. Let me do this and time to. Pick up those two fields of silage then pick the bells up. Don't roll away. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, New Brook's a nice small map for single player. Um, for smaller machinery, and yeah. It's just nice and small and good for single player. That's that field build. of it but I, I have a team of testers that are testing the map as well because otherwise it just takes me too much time
lift level. Yeah, it takes forever. First time I tried lifting grass in FS20, would help if I move this wagon. <laughs> Check is that it's not leaking. Okay, good, no grass showing in this nice beast. Okay, thanks for stopping by and uh, yeah, I'll chat with you again soon. Have a great day. This field's definitely going to take a while. Can't even get one load. Can't even get round the field.
Looks quite good. There's two loads. Finish this line. It was fertilized, I guess we get even more. I guess it's gonna be like five loads. Three loads. Yeah, a bit east in two or three. It'd be six loads.
That building looks weird for a reason. I'll finish off that outside when when I come in the field next when I'm empty and this is going to be load 4 it's still going to be definitely another 2 loads maybe even another 3 loads Good silage field, that's nice and close to the farm. Nice and level. Push it back. Looks like it is, you can see underneath the grass, which is weird. Just don't go pushing it back up. What a mess. Level this down a bit. Oh, just tip a load in there. That'll do for now. So the one
be nice if I could make it so that you could remove some of the hedges if you wish to. Be like that. If you, you could take the hedge out and then that would this would be all one big field. About a low, a bit more than a load left, maybe. After this one, it might be like, I think this is five loads. It'll be six bit loads, maybe. Yeah, it's not going to get it all in this load. You can do about three rows. Maybe maybe another load. Probably. Seven loads of a one field.
Just over half a load, I'm guessing. Just about done this field and that field, that field didn't, well it's less than half the size of this one. But there could be three loads in that field. Go in there and get about 20%. Could go through the cow pasture if I wanted to. This is where I go this way. Save driving over all that grass.
I like the clunk it makes when it shut. That's a really nice touch. Yeah, we should get all the way around this field easily. back down this road to finish filming up He's going to take some leveling out. I miss all that much on that corner, did I? That's terrible.
might get a one more load. Don't know. Once I've finished picking this up, then I'm going to stop the stream, guys. Um, and then I don't know what I'll be doing tomorrow night after, see if I'm streaming or not. But um, I may not be streaming every night this week. Just depends what happens. Yeah, thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook if you haven't already done so. And much appreciated. And if you wish to support me, there's a PayPal link where you can um, donate if you wish to. Any donations go towards the running costs of my PC and PC upgrades. The next thing on the list to upgrade is probably the CPU. some in that corner not very good it's not a very good looking pit <laughs> going to tidy it up in a minute See if it will get in this load. It might. What is it? Like four rows. I think that should fit.
I'm going to be just... I was thinking a minute ago it would only be like about 80%, so it's going to be a little bit more... 90... So bad. Right, doing this. <laughs> what a mess. Don't keep piling it up there. I can do something with this, I guess.
Okay guys, I'm off now. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I will see you again very soon. So yeah, that's it for tonight. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching guys.